First thing that comes to mind about Eli is just a people person. He loved to be around people and he loved people like so much. He was such a good friend. It was it was just hard to, to get away from the positive vibe that he would send and, and create in a room. He had a bigger than life personality. I just wish that everyone could experience the feeling of having him come in and light up a room. It's something that I've never seen literally anyone else do. He was probably one of the brightest souls I've ever met. People just felt close to him, even if you didn't know him that well. He made you feel like the most important person at that time. He made sure that you knew that he loved you. He just had a way of making everyone happy. You know, he walked in the room and, you know, you couldn't help but smile. I mean, I lived with Eli for two and a half, three years, and it was like that always at home, in public. He picked me up at times that I never expected or anticipated. A, I mean, let's be honest, a 20-year-old to do. You could tell Eli had that, you know, kind of that maturity from the beginning. He knew his priorities. He put God and family in front of everything. He was a Christ follower and that was his main focus in life. And I think that's why he was always happy and outgoing towards people because that's the way Christ wanted us to live and he took that to heart. Getting to know him like changed a lot about the trajectory of my life. He made me more selfless and loving and caring. And he taught me how to see the other side of every situation and just grow as a person. One thing Eli taught me was that wrestling wasn't the end all be all. Um, there's a lot more to life than just wrestling. I have this opportunity to be in, in an athletic department, but I also have a choice to use that to either project myself or project this bigger message of our life is more than a sport. I want to live the way Eli did with so much joy and love and care. Now seeing that he's gone and realizing what he was talking about, it, I realize how much of an impact that he had made on my life with that and with God and with self. Every, I feel like everyone has a story about him. Um, whether they knew him a lot or a little, he, he has impacted everyone. It's no wonder when you, when you meet his family, Todd, Hope, and Raya, they're all extremely good people. And um, your son was an overwhelmingly positive influence in my life and his impact on me is gonna last forever. One of the things that helps me be at peace is knowing how many lives he touched. Like, when he passed, he had so many people that reached out that were like, Eli touched my life personally. Like, he was such a good friend to everyone here, through the UTC, you know, over at Iowa, and I just, I think it was so amazing to see that someone who was so young had touched so many lives. I feel him every day. I want to tell him that you know that we all loved you and you made an impact that your parents are proud of, that the Lord is proud of, and you used your life as a vessel to what it meant to make a disciples of all nations. I think that is exactly what you were supposed to do. To Mr. and Mrs. Stickley, just keep staying strong and keep smiling because that's what Eli wanted to do and just continue to live in his name because I feel like that's the best thing we can do and the best way we can cope is to keep living passionately and to keep trying to leave the impact Eli had on all of our lives. 